Good morning, ni hao. Welcome to Blockchain and Lindy Chen channel. My name is Lindy Chen. I'm very excited to be here and share my insight on the blockchain with you. In the last video, I shared with you the need to identify the regulators and the regulation. In this video, I will share with you a co-regulatory approach engaging with relevant regulators and regulating prematurely and identify the risks. A co-regulatory approach engaging with relevant regulators. As learned during the early days of the internet, a flexible and open approach to regulation will allow it to evolve and innovation to occur. Ideally, the law and the regulation should develop cooperatively as the technology develops, adopting a co-regulatory approach that addresses issues as they evolve. This approach will create the certainty and stability needed to evolve blockchain while meeting the regulator objective of safeguarding citizens and consumers. A co-regulatory approach has some significant benefits, providing guidance to blockchain regulator, providing guidance to blockchain developers and operators, regulating prematurely. History suggests that regulating prematurely, which means before grasping the implication of the technology, can have significant and long-lasting consequences. The challenge for regulator is in, in identifying the legal policy and the strategic implication of blockchain technology and regulating to protect the interests of the citizen and consumer. Many of these aspects will crystallize as a blockchain use case continue to unfold. Its precise future cannot be predicted, so policy makers are essentially trying to regulate uncertainty. While regulators should take care not to stifle innovation, regulation simply presents as a tool to provide certainty for those involved in blockchain development. This will ultimately benefit rather than restrict innovation. It is clear that blockchain is creating innovation disruption in almost every industry sector, but at the same time, its distributed and an autonomous nature is creating regulatory disruption, where existing regulatory frameworks are being disrupted and challenged to regulate new markets new business model, new autonomous organization, cross-jurisdictional transaction, smart contracts, and more. These tenants of blockchain are disrupting the regulatory framework, and in particular, their regulatory jurisdiction. Regulatory frameworks and agencies are also suffering from law lag as they struggle to ensure they don't impose regulation that are either miscalibrated or premature. It is fair to say that many existing regulatory frameworks will still apply. However, as regulatory frameworks are being disrupted, new ways of protecting consumers and individuals will surface. The lessons from the internet point to a combination that is likely to include existing regulatory agencies, self-governance, new regulatory agency that address blockchain disruption, the internet example. In the early days of the internet, government showed restraint and limited regulation and control. This allowed the internet to flourish and entrepreneurs to innovate, and as a result, the internet impacts on almost every aspect of our personal and working lives. The European Security and Markets Authority ESMA. In this example, it was deemed that the current regulatory framework did not pose a hurdle on for the adoption and the development of blockchain or distributed ledger technology in the short term. ESMA elected to take a wait-and-see approach 
to better understand the implementation of blockchain and impacts it would have on the current financial market infrastructure. At this stage, the European Security and the Markets Authority believes that it is premature to fully appreciate the change that the technology could bring and the regulatory response that may be needed, given that the technology is still evolving and the practical applications are limited both in number and the scope. ESMA stated in their report that it realized that blockchain technology may render some traditional processes redundant or affect and change the role of some intermediary through time. The ESMA added that the presence of blockchain technology does not liberate users from complying with the existing regulatory framework, which provides important safeguards for the well-functioning of financial markets. The 2018-2008 financial crisis, the effect of this crisis were felt around the world and were an example of failing to comply with the existing regulatory framework until the impacts of the disruption in security instrument could be properly assessed and understood. In the mop-up, the Financial Crisis Inquiry Commission's final report found that technology has transformed the efficiency, speed, and complexity of financial instruments and transaction, but that the United States had a 21st century financial system with 19th century safeguards. Notwithstanding the politics involved, the FCIC also found that the crisis was the result of the Federal Reserve Board refusing to use its authority to regulate this new practice through existing regulatory framework, opting to prematurely allow the industry to self-regulate. Identify the risks. The above examples demonstrate that there are risks from acting prematurely, whether that be opting for self-regulation or changing regulatory frameworks too early. You should gather your team and other stakeholders involved in the blockchain network and ecosystem and include the regulator early to identify what is being disrupted in the value chain and also the regulatory framework. From here, you will be able to understand the regulatory mix that will ensure the ecosystem will grow while considering the governance challenges that disruptive innovation and regulation bring. Regulatory mix, existing regulatory framework. Two, self-governance framework. Three, new regulatory frameworks that address blockchain disruption. From myself, the team at China Direct Sourcing, the team at Freeson Technology, and the team at Blockchain Collective. Thank you for watching this video series. If you like what you see and hear and want to know more about it, please subscribe our channel and contact us. Good luck with your blockchain learning journey. Enjoy the program.